A stacked wall is a special kind of wall in Revit. It allows you to stack two different wall types on top of one another. In this instance, I'd like to come up here to the Architecture tab and then select on the Wall command. From here, underneath Properties on the Type Selector list, down at the very bottom, we'll have the option to draw a stacked wall style, and it's called Exterior Brick over CMU with Metal Stud. If you select on that, you can then draw the wall in just like you would draw in a normal wall. Set up your options appropriately, then click, and then click again to draw in the wall. Escape a couple of times to get out of the command. You can then come up here and select on the default 3D view icon to view your stacked wall style. In this case, I'm going to move up here to the view cube and select on this corner of the view cube to spin the wall around. Now, zoom in by just spinning the wheel on your mouse so you can take a better look at how this wall style is put together. In this case, we have a CMU block wall down below and then a brick wall up above. Now, technically, these are two completely different wall styles that have been merged together to stack on top of each other. That's the reason why it's called a stacked wall. There's two different wall styles stacked on top of each other. In this instance, if we select on the wall and then come up here to edit type, and then click on the edit button next to the word structure, we can see the two different styles or the two different types of Revit walls. In this case, there's a brick on metal stud wall and a CMU on metal stud wall stacked on top of one another. This wall that's down below, the CMU on metal stud wall, is told to only be three foot tall. That's the reason why it has the height that it does. As far as the other wall, one of these always has to have a variable height to it. That way you can have whatever height you specify when you first draw the wall in. Another thing to know is there's an offset value. Now this is what the offset value does. Right now we can see that this wall is offset over in this direction. And I'm not sure what the exact thickness of this wall is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an offset value of 4 inches and just see what happens when I do it. I click on OK to this and OK. You notice how this wall now has gotten shifted over by 4 inches. And that kind of makes sense. It is going to be a 4 inch difference between the thickness of the brick wall and the thickness of the CMU block wall. Because you can adjust that in the properties, what it's going to allow you to do is have the structural parts of each of these walls be able to better line up with one another. So if I come back in here again and change this to be 0 instead, click on OK and then on OK again, we now have the structural parts of the wall lining up with one another. And now the brick is offset the correct distance from the CMU block wall. So a stacked wall style, at its heart, could be multiple wall styles actually, stacked on top of one another. That's the reason why it's called a stacked wall style. There's more than one wall style stacked on top of each other to create one wall unit.